KOAA News 5 at 4. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Allison Zimmerman. And I'm Diane Derby. Thanks so much for joining us for News 5 at 4. Rob is off today. And our top story this afternoon, traveling during the pandemic can be stressful for some passengers, but nothing may be more stressful than showing up to the airport and finding out your ticket has been canceled at no fault of your own. Super stressful. An airline mistake forced one Colorado Springs mother to pay double at the ticket counter to rebook her son's flight. After her attempts to get a refund for that ticket were unsuccessful, she contacted our chief investigative reporter, Eric Ross, for help. He's getting results. If you're a frequent flyer, chances are you have at least one nightmare story involving an airline delay or overbooked flight. But that's nothing compared to the stress level experienced when showing up to board a plane and learning the airline accidentally canceled your reservation. The mother you're about to hear from says she tried on her own to get United Airlines to fix the issue, but when that didn't work, she reached out to me for help. <laughs> Katie Houston booked a flight on United Airlines for her and her son. Katie's father was terminally ill and the two needed to get to Kentucky to say their goodbyes. It was a pretty emotional trip that we needed to get there as soon as possible. Katie bought two tickets, traveling from Colorado Springs to Denver, then on to Louisville. The night before the trip, I was contacted by United and told that there would be a delay from um, the crew that was working the flight from Colorado Springs to Denver. The delay meant she and her son would miss their connecting flight out of Denver to Louisville. I got on United chat um, with an agent and she rebooked us through Chicago. And once she did that, I realized that that flight was also delayed. So Katie says she told United to stick with the original reservation, but instead of taking the flight leg from Colorado Springs to Denver, they would just drive and fly direct from Denver to Louisville. When they arrived at DIA, Katie was able to check in for her flight, but her son could not. That's when Katie walked over to an agent at the check-in counter and asked for help. She told me to just go to the red phone, which is the reservation line, and to rebook another ticket. So that's what I had to do. The original ticket price was $408. At the airport, the price went up to $886. It was two hours before the flight. I didn't have time to sort through this. I just needed to get my son to Kentucky. So I bought an $886 ticket. Katie says she never got an explanation from the airline on why her son's ticket had been accidentally canceled. The airline initially agreed to give her a partial refund for the canceled ticket, but would not reimburse her for the nearly $900 she had to spend at the airport to rebook her son's flight. I'm just hoping that they will do the right thing and give me the $886 back that I should have never had to spend because their agent canceled my son's flight. I shared Katie's case directly with United Airlines. A spokesperson looked into the matter, and soon after, Katie received a refund, making her whole for the $886 ticket she should have never had to purchase in the first place. Now, you may be wondering how you can avoid a situation like this. Unfortunately, with airline delays and cancellations, you may have to change your flight itinerary. And if you do it over the phone, make sure you get a confirmation email and check over the details just to make sure the changes made were indeed what you wanted. Also, all domestic flights allow you to check in 24 hours in advance on your smartphone or computer. So if you get an error message or the system can't find your ticket, that's a key red flag. There may be a problem and you should immediately contact customer support versus waiting to sort it out at the customer service ticket counter at the airport. As always, if you need our help, we're here to assist as many viewers as possible. If there's a problem or issue you think needs our attention, you can call our 24 hour tip line or send an email to news 5 investigates at koaa.com. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. I'm chief investigative reporter Eric Ross.